As we enter a likely long, hot summer ahead, how can Australians stay cool and keep home temperatures and their energy bills as low as possible? Australian rooftop solar is the cheapest home energy in the world. With solar panels, a battery, electric appliances and an electric car, a home can run on $560 a year, a tenth of the cost of having gas appliances, a petrol car and no solar. A tenth. But how do you get there? A group of Curtin volunteers worked for 12 months to generate a detailed report called Curtin's Pathway to Net Zero. One community-driven project that evolved out of Curtin Net Zero is a comprehensive website that helps households electrify efficiently. Check it out at electrifycurtain.com.au. But a community website is obviously not enough for the massive task ahead. Government support is needed to speed up electrification and make it available for everyone. The good news is there are low-interest loans supported by the government for this purpose. In May 2023, the government announced a billion dollar allocation for a new household energy upgrades fund to help Australians efficiently electrify their homes. But the bad news is these loans are a well-kept secret. Only a third of the funding has been allocated and we need other ways to use the allocated funding for better access and equity. This fund needs a much more effective public campaign so Australians know how to access it. It's been allocated to Plenty and Westpac and soon ING to offer discounted rate loans of up to $50,000 to home or investment property owners to make energy efficient upgrades such as rooftop solar, home battery, EV charging or hot water heat pumps. We've added some information about accessing this on our Electrify Curtain website for constituents who own property. But only $300 million of the billion dollars has been allocated through these providers so far. We need to do this now so Australians and the climate can reap the benefits. For the remaining 700,000, the fund needs a shake-up for access and equity. It shouldn't just be for those lucky enough to have a home loan with the right bank. The remaining funds should be deployed through a broader range of channels and structures. The government should consider zero interest loans or deferred loans repayable when your house is sold or access through other channels like state government agencies, local governments or through larger installers. Where the cost of living or rising temperatures are top of mind, now is the time for faster and fairer electrification. And the government has a great opportunity at this point to rejig the Household Energy Upgrades Fund to ensure better access and equity.